So uh, today we're installing these brackets. These are the A-frames from KD Solar and there's the uh, normal aluminium rails where the solar panels can just attach to. Um, the day or the, the sunlight is a bit uh, straining on the camera but just, just bear with me. Um, so these brackets are, you know, as I said, A-frames. They get uh, shipped like this and when you just put them together you just bend this part upright and then uh, obviously lift the A-frame. Uh, uh, then you just lift up the A-frame and you can set it or adjust it to the height that you require. So it's got a bit of adjustment. This is a quite, quite a flat roof. And then we're going to just uh, lift them up all the way for now. So as you can see, we've uh, installed all the anchor bolts. That's just a little hole you drill through the roof with a 7 mil drill into the wood structure because this is a wood structure underneath and a 13 mil, I use 13 mil to just um, make the hole big enough for the anchor bolt to go through with this little seal so that it seats nice into the hole make a good seal where it where it uh, is, is uh, screwed through and then um, you can see that we we had to set the height on this one to get a, well, a nice height to the other side that need, needed to be flat on the roof um, this one is uh, is now fully bolted quite sturdy so We'll put on the panels as soon as, uh, as they arrive on the roof and screw them in everything nice and tight. Uh, I think I'm going to just install the earth wire quickly between these rails and stuff and then uh, on the panels when, they, when they're on there. When we uh, tighten these from KD uh, onto the roof brackets, we, uh, we insert these as an extra bit of a precaution um, if you do not do this this little rubber thing will just rip apart when you screw it in or it just opens up too wide when you do it with this little spacer or washer then you can see there it's got a good tight seal and a much better much better connection to the roof there um, if I can have a quick if you can have a quick look here this is how the brackets connect to the roof and uh, yeah happy with those um, they're making a good good tight seal and uh, we've tested it with water on a, on a part where the roof is open and there's nothing coming through there right so yesterday we just picked up all the panels uh, placed them on the on the bracketing system and uh, now we're gonna tighten down the bolts actually first align or align the panels as we go along so it's got a nice straight line and as you can see they are overlapping this bracketing system with about 400 millimeter, uh, 400, yeah, 400 millimeters, 40 centimeters. I think this would be the maximum size people's got to put on these, um, on these bracketing systems uh, in length but uh, I mean if you put it in, in, in in landscape then it's a, then it's a different story all right so all the cabling on these panels are done now we've uh, cable tied them i made them neat underneath put them in a pipe this this pipe will be painted with i think the same paint that this roof has been treated with so it'll be definitely uv protected uh, the pipe is running underneath the house and then unfortunately we had to cross a, a little cable there but yeah we went into the garage there and uh, let's check it out inside where we came in with the trunking went all the way down to the isolated box and uh, into the inverter so let's quickly do a test of the voltages okay let me see okay so we're measuring the let me just use all four of my hands and there, there you can see the positive and negative is connected to the solar panel 
and it's really cloudy let's move it to the next array we've got the first two arrays connected now so and both of them are reading dc 266 volts so we can switch on the system and uh, see if everything charges okay so there you can see i've switched on array one and two they are paralleled i've switched on the dc switch on the inverter and if we have a look here in the menu and i go to the solar uh, or the information panel or whatever there we can see that the solar array one or mppt one is now charging and if i go to the a bit more information there we can see that it's charging at 12 point or 13 amps so we're getting 3000 watts now at the moment well it's actually extremely cloudy at the moment so yeah as you can see when the cloud gets really really thick it goes down to about 1600 watts and 7 amps but it's really cloudy today um i can actually quickly just show you so yeah yeah there you goes the fans but yeah but yeah so there the the solar panels are connected and um i'll just cover up everything quickly and then close up everything quickly <laughs> i'll just close up everything quickly and uh, then just uh, call it a day thanks for watching